it's not just hype. I know your feed is filling up with videos about Batman Arkham Shadow, but it's for a good reason. This is a defining moment for VR, and not for the obvious reasons. Batman Arkham Shadow isn't a perfect game. There are still some bugs. It's still early in the process. But what Camouflage has done here is nothing short of spectacular. You see, we VR enthusiasts forget that everybody isn't into playing games in VR. But Meta and Camouflage have taken a flat franchise and placed it into VR in a way that not only feels true to its predecessors, but it makes it feel almost like it always should have been here in VR. Back when we moved from 2D to 3D and now we're in the six degrees of freedom, we always wanted to feel like we were in the game. Most of my favorite games are in first person and in Batman Arkham Shadow, you finally get to step into the shoes of the Dark Knight himself. And you're not just watching a stack of pixels bash a bad guy into the pavement. Instead, it's your fist, your swings, your perception, your reflexes making the Batman come to life. You can't just wail away on an enemy all random, but I think that is by design. It actually prevents some of the jankiness that you see in VR where things kind of go wonky because they can't predict where your hands might go. So instead, you get to methodically trigger combat with a particular enemy, execute punches at random speeds. In particular, when you're punching or doing a combo against an enemy, if another enemy is on approach, you can either finish that combo quickly or stop that combo midway through and shift your attention to another enemy. It's absolutely perfect. Honestly, I never thought I would feel this good fighting in a VR game. And let me say, you will break a sweat, your heart rate will increase, and it's not just because the action is so high, it's actually because you're fighting. And if you're familiar with the Arkham franchises, it's amazing what they've done here. It's really, really mind blowing because it felt the same way. I went through the same process of having the combat feel a little clunky at first, and then over time getting used to anticipating the enemy's attacks, stringing together combos, and before you know it, you feel like a complete badass. But this time it was different. It felt more like an accomplishment. And on top of all that, I was covered in sweat after a few fights. This might be the most exciting interactive experience I've had in VR, minus defeating Jeff and Half-Life Alex. If you know, you know. But Batman Arkham Shadow will do more than just impress a VR enthusiast like myself. It'll show flat gamers what is truly possible in VR and how it can change how you experience a game. And what's interesting is that it's not perfect. Everything wasn't changed into a VR interaction. There are still a few buttons. There's no way at this point in technology to simulate you jumping around rooftops while you're still in your living room. And that's the thing holding back a lot of new VR gamers. There's usually just too many clunky controls so it doesn't feel real enough or it's too disorienting to even stomach. But this was an experience that gave so much but still kept a lot of the tried and true things that we love about flat games. While deeply immersed in this Gotham City and seeing some of these characters face to face, I still felt like I was in an Arkham series flat game. And that's saying a lot for VR. I hope Arkham Shadow shows the VR landscape that our favorite games can be brought into VR and it can be done well. I was traveling a little bit during my early access to this title, so I'm not able to show you as much as I would want to, but honestly, it wouldn't do it as much justice to see it here on a flat screen. Arkham Shadow is something that you should experience for yourself. The 10 plus hour campaign is worth more than the price of admission. And there's some replayability with predator challenges. And on top of all that, you'll probably burn some calories while you're at it. I'm so excited that this title is finally here on Quest. To the team at Camouflage, thank you. I can't wait to see what you do next. And if it's your first time here, please consider subscribing and we'll see you here next time in The Construct. Peace.